Hey guys, it's Charlie, and today is day 15 of my 30 videos in 30 days on teaching, working, and living abroad. So today I am answering a subscriber question on teaching and traveling abroad with family and kids. So first I'm going to answer two questions that I had from a subscriber that relate to kind of like traveling abroad and family, um, personal questions towards myself. And then I'm going to answer the question if you can um, teach abroad or work abroad with family. So um, the first question that I have, do you plan on living abroad for the rest of your life? So this is a common question that I get on if I plan to live abroad forever, you know. I can say I do because I don't see myself living long term in the U.S. I love living abroad and I like the travel lifestyle and I feel really happy when I am traveling and uh, just discovering new things but at the same time um, family comes into play and things like that so um, I'm not going to obviously travel my whole life because I do plan on hopefully having kids someday and um, it's kind of difficult for me to keep up the lifestyle that I have now on one year here, one year there, when you do have kids. So um, I'm not necessarily planning on living in the U.S. Um, yeah, I do plan on living abroad um, for the rest of my life, but it's not really a plan. I'm just pretty much going, going with the flow. I may come back to the U.S. and live here for some years and then you know, once my kids get older, um, move on to other places and, you know, do that. But I don't really have a plan on that. I'm just going with the flow. Who knows what um, the person that I decide to spend my life with will want to do too. We'll have to compromise or maybe we'll um, be on the same page with everything. So yeah. The second question is, do you plan on marrying someone from another country or the U.S.? Um, this is kind of similar to the other question, which is, my answer would be, I don't really have a plan. I'm not um, planning my life like I'm going to marry someone who is from another country. Like It's not like that for me. For me, it's I'm going to travel and live my life and whoever I am in love with is who I love. It doesn't matter which country they're from. And so I don't have an answer for that. My answer is no, I guess, <laughs> because I don't plan on marrying anyone from another country and I don't plan on marrying anyone from the U.S. And then also, I don't even know if I'm going to get married, so that's a whole other answer in itself. Uh, who knows if I'll even get married. So um, I don't really plan on who the person is or where they're going to be from. You know, you can't just say I'm going to just fall in love with someone from this country because that's not how it works. So on to the actual video which is a question that many people probably have if they're planning on having a family. Can you teach abroad with a spouse or kids? And my answer is yes. You can teach abroad with a husband or a wife and kids. The question is how easy is it to get a job abroad? And it's a little bit more difficult if you're really trying to find security because a lot of um, people who are looking for teachers are looking for what they would consider the young, just graduated from college, um, that type of teacher. I'm going to go through my list and tell you some ways to find a job and to look what things to look for to get the job with kids and family. There are a lot of things that go into traveling with kids or a husband or a wife, having a family while traveling, so I'm going to go through those things now. Okay, so the first thing is that some employers will provide fi more financing for people who have families and some don't. Some of the things that you need to look for are what type of teachers are these um, employers looking for. For example, when I went through talk, a lot of the promotion was towards people who have just completed two years of college or are still working on their degree. And usually these are people who don't really have families. And usually younger students, they're usually gearing towards people who do not have kids. And these are more of the lower salaried 
um, pays, you know. So you have to think of that when looking. So be sure to look at what type of people they're aiming their um, their jobs towards. Are they looking for more, you know, business level types? type teachers or are they looking for people who are just out of high school or you know things like that be sure to look for that be sure also to look at what they're offering on the whether it's a website or whatever job offer it is what are they offering are they offering housing are they offering health care things like this these are really important to look for when you have a family and so be sure to don't just think about pay and all of those things be sure to want look at what they're providing for you perks to the job what are they offering that will help the stability of your family while you're abroad especially because if they offer housing you might have to actually pay for your housing and deny their housing if you're bringing family because this housing might be really small or they might have some sort of policy towards if you're bringing other people you have to provide your own housing and we cannot give you housing so be sure to look into this it's great when housing is provided but if you can't accept that housing because you have a family and they don't accept more people than yourself um, they're probably only sponsoring or paying for you do you have enough money in the paycheck to be providing for your kids and your husband and your wife or whatever it is um, what is it do you have enough means for providing for your family if you you have to pay for your own housing another thing that I would recommend is contacting the program or the company to see what their exact policy is so if you have a company in mind that you would like to work for be sure to contact them you can always email them you might be able to even look on the website before you contact them always work in that order don't just contact them before looking on the website because it might say it on the website um, be sure to check their policies you can always contact them ask them specifically what their policy is for traveling and teaching with a family so be sure to ask that you can always ask it doesn't hurt to ask <laughs> another thing that you're going to have to consider when traveling abroad are the visa requirements Will your child be able to get a dependent visa? What are the requirements for obtaining a visa? How can you obtain a visa for your child or your husband? And you can travel with a husband. A lot of times if your husband or wife is looking into possibly teaching also, they have teaching contracts where you can sign up or apply along with another person. You can look on the website and see if there is a um, another applicant option where you can put the name of someone else who is applying for the job and you guys can go and work in the same company together with the same program maybe not the same school but in the same program together to that way you ensure both of you have a job so be sure to check out these things there are a lot of different options for you guys available that way you have more funding for your family Another thing that you're going to have to think about is obviously the cost of living. What is the salary you'll be making? What is the cost of health care in the country? But you also have to think about school fees. What is the cost for school? Is school free? Are there any foreigner schools around? Or will your child be put into a regular, you know, school that everyone in that country goes to? Or will they go to an international school? These are all things that you have to think about. What is the cost for all of these things? Is it free? Will it be provided? Will the school that you're applying to or company give you the information for this? Sometimes they're willing to provide information for you. Another thing that you're going to have to think about, I know this sounds very overwhelming, but these are really important points to think about when you're traveling with the family because you guys know that I travel and I love traveling and I love my life the freedom of travel is really easy but when you have other people other dependents and things like that it gets a lot harder or at least a little more than it is traveling by yourself I just want you guys to be informed about this before you head off and grab your kids and your family and jump on the plane I want you to think about these things and consider them another thing that you have to think about is child care who is going to be taking care of your children while you're at work? Will you be going by yourself? Or will you have a spouse to be able to stay at home and take care of the kid? 
or will your kid be at school while you're at work? These are things that you need to consider. Do you have enough money to pay for childcare? Or will the school that you're working for have this provided that you can ask the school or the company that you're working for if they have any benefits for people who have a family member or kids, you know, things like that. So in the same similar topic of daycare and childcare, or will your kid be at school while you're working is what hours will you be working? If you're going to be working a lot of hours, will your kid have to be picked up from school? Will your spouse be able to pick them up? These are things that you need to think about. Will you need to get a nanny or a helper to pick them up from school? Will they be old enough to go home? You know, these are really important questions. So considering your hours of work, another um, thing that, that I'm going to discuss right now is medical care health care. Will the school provide health care for the family that you're traveling with? First you have to find out if the company provides health care for yourself. And then from there you need to find out if you can add on health care for, for your child or your spouse. Will they be able to add on to your health insurance? If there is no health insurance provided, will you be able to pay for the health care of the child or your husband or wife? Um, if you have no health care, is the cost of health care low? So these are things that you need to think about. Another thing is the new culture and your child or your spouse being able to adapt to the new environment. It's one thing for me to go up and travel, you know, get on a plane and go somewhere because all I have to think about is myself. But another thing you have to think about is the age of your child. Are they, will they be able to adapt to the country? Will they be able to adapt to the language, the new food, all of these things? Do they have allergies? These are all things that you need to think about. And if the main food is um, something that they're allergic to, you're going to have to adapt to that. These are really important things that you need to think about before you hop on the plane and get that job. You can get hired abroad. These are some other side things that you need to think about. Will your spouse be able to adapt to the new location and not only will they adapt but are they willing to adapt and grow with you and grow together you know as a family so these are things that you need to think about and you also need to think about the positive side there are many benefits to traveling as a family learning about new culture together learning about new foods the language and your child at an early age can learn a new language and pick up a new language they can soak it up like a sponge Okay, the last thing that I'm going to talk about is single parents. So, if you're a single parent, you have to think about the other parent. Are they in your life? What are the conditions that you're, the terms that you're on? You don't want to just hop on a plane with the kid and then the other person doesn't know or, you know, things like that. <laughs> you don't want to get into any legal trouble. So these are really important things that you need to think about. Are you on the same terms with the other person who you had this child with? Are you together and will there be a problem when you leave the country and the other person is in the other country and can't see their, their kid? You know, These are really important things to think about. You can get a job abroad. It is a little bit harder and it's harder because of financial reasons with healthcare and all of these other visa requirements. It is possible to get a job abroad. It's going to take a little more time, a little more research, and a little more dedication towards getting that job. But it is possible and I've seen, this is like on any other career. This is not just a, you know, 18 year old going off abroad and teaching English. This is actually a career and it's just like any other career. You can get a job abroad teaching with the family, working abroad with the family, and living abroad with the family. The question is your dedication and how hard you're willing to work to find the right company that will support you so that you can support your family. I hope this was informational for you. Thank you guys for watching. Send your questions to my website, blackpearlworld.com, in the guest book. Um, I'm halfway through, so thank you guys. Please submit more questions, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Well, they're hungry now, so I have to go feed them. Bye. Say bye. Bye. We're so hungry. We're so hungry, hungry, hungry.